So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at the JavaScript find array method and how you can use it to not only check whether an item actually exists in an array, but actually retrieve that particular item so that you can use it elsewhere in your code. So I've got an array of objects here that have properties of ID and name, and the find function is generally useful for this type of data, because if we have a simple array that has just a list of numbers, if we're just checking to see if the item exists in there, rather than having to return some complex data, then you're probably better off just using a simpler function like the array includes method. Okay, so to use the find method, uh, we just call it on our array. And as with a lot of the other array methods, you pass in a callback function, uh, which will be called once for every item in the array. And just to double check that, if we just console.log out item in the uh, example array that we've got here, you can see all of the items are presented on the page. And of course, again, the actual name of item can be anything. You can change it to I or person in this example. It really doesn't matter what you call it. So the way the find function works is it keeps going through the list of items in the array until you return a true value. So for example, if we just return a true straight off the bat for the first time that the uh, function is called, then you can see we get the first object in the array. And if we return false, uh, then we get no output from the find function. In fact, it returns an undefined value, but you just can't see that in the console here. Okay, so to do something meaningful with the find function, if you're looking for a particular item in the array, uh, then generally what you'll do is return a, a Boolean expression. And this expression will be based on something about the data in the array. So for example, if we wanted to find the person in the array, the object in the array that has an ID of 345, then we write an expression a bit like this, and you can see we get the object returned to us in the console. So one useful thing to do with the find function is you can't rely on it actually finding something in the array. Uh, and if it doesn't find something, as mentioned, it will return an undefined value. So uh, that could cause other parts of your code to fail. So it's always a good practice to provide a default when using the find function. And we can do that simply by using the logical or operator and so we could pass it back an object if we don't find anything uh, and we could put in a name property in there uh, such as unknown so if you have got part of your code later on that's relying on there being an object that's been found with a name property this will help prevent any errors uh, when that code is looking for the name property so you go that's pretty much all you need to know about the find method in javascript make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips